Hello guys, how are you doing? So, we are back to the last episode of Fate Zero. Uh, so, I just watched episode 24 and my god, that was so crazy. Like, so many things happening. Like, right off the bat, we see Kirei and Kiritsugu fighting each other. Like, we already knew that they were about to, to meet and it just happened, like, straight away. They started fighting and it was a crazy fight. Like, Kiritsugu almost died. And then he he gained an, like an advantage over Kirei with the bullet that he he managed to hit on him. So Kirei is gone, but Archer is still there because he has that skill that allows him to be there without like a master. And now Saber was ordered to use the Excalibur against the grail so she was ordered to destroy to, to destroy the grail and twice so it's like just to make the attack even more powerful i'm guessing and that will sing with uh, with kiritsugu's story and like his wish to like save humanity and save the world so that was from what I understood, he doesn't like the way that the wish granting device is able to like accomplish his dream. So that device can only make a wish happen if you're aware of how it's like going to be done. So he can't just miraculously make it happen just just like that. Like you need to know how it's going to happen and if it's if if you don't have a way the device is just going to grant you the wish by the way you like by the way you do things like kiritsugu kills the minority like they said to make the majority live like he kill he started killing the bad guys basically to make other people live like so other people didn't die and i mean there's nothing wrong about that is he's, he's doing his job of like taking out the bad guys and the the way that the grill wanted to grant his wish was to kill a lot of people just to save the others and that's not what he wanted in the end. He, he was just doing that to have peace in the world, but he doesn't want more sacrifices. He, he, he thought that with, with that device, he could have his wish granted without having more losses. So that didn't happen. So he, in the end, he, he decided to like kill the source of it, like Irisville and Ilya. He decided to kill them both and destroy the grail since it it doesn't do what you wanted that's what i'm guessing if i'm wrong just like correct me without without like giving any spoilers for the next uh next anime that's fate zero unlimited blade works i think uh like i hope you guys can make me understand this a bit better but without spoiling anything of the next series uh, I know that this might be something that I'm not supposed to understand without watching that one. So if I'm not supposed to understand yet, I, I ask you guys to not spoil like anything so I can enjoy the next series even more. But so far, we are at the last episode and I'm loving it. Even if I don't understand everything, this show, like this anime is just amazing, like everything, the, the animation, music, the story so far, all of the characters, like it's really easy to to love all of these characters, even if they are like disturbing or something like Caster and Ryanosuke, they, they are still like really well done and the like the development of all of this is amazing. And it's not the type of anime that you can 
like actually guess everything like in some animes it's kind of predictable what's going to happen but it's not the case with with this one there was like a lot of moments that i didn't see coming like with lancer for example i didn't see like that moment coming when he suicided because of the the command spell like there were there were like a lot of moments that i didn't expect there there were others that i actually expected but man this anime is is great and no matter how it ends in like at the end of this episode i'm gonna love it a lot and i'm going to be anxious to start the unlimited blade works next week so yeah uh, I hope you, you guys are ready for my reaction to the last episode of Fate Zero. So let's get started. Damn. Wait, what happened? Yeah. Oh, she's crying. Yeah, she she she's like realizing those things. Holy damn. Will she destroy it though? Holy shit. How is that place still? The grill didn't get destroyed. What the hell? Oh, Archer felt it. What the hell is happening? Is that shit again? What the hell is happening? Is the world going, going to get destroyed? It's like lava. I see Leon. But this is a real one. I'm guessing. Uh, that same dream. What the hell? Wow. Oh no, he's not okay at all. I really wonder what's happening right now. Oh, he's still alive.
or not? What's this? Oh, but his father is still there, right? Oh, Rin! Oh, this is real? Oh, I hope it is. Oh. Man, this can't be real. She's dead. This is too nice, but it's not real, I'm guessing. Oh. Yeah, this is not real. It's his dream. Really? Still alive? Really? <laughs> what the fuck? Why does he have no armor? Um. Wait, what is real now? Hmm. But what's happening? What? So he got like revived because of it. What the hell is going on? Yeah, uh, I mean, what did you win at, at the end? Uh, I kind of agree with that. Yep. Holy shit. Here we go again. You're totally different from what I saw that is at the start. Apparently. Holy shit. So what is he going to do? Maybe Kiritsugu could show up and kill you again. Kiritsugu is not dead yet. But... How did he, like, get... 
I incarnated in that world. I didn't get it. It was like his wish in the end, but what? It couldn't be like a wish. Yep, Eskiritsuko. Oh my god, it must be so dead inside. Like, pff. all of this shit happening. Yeah, I think it's just, it's just done with everything. I don't know. It's gonna be hard to get up from this. He's trying to save more people. Even in all of this, he's, real, he's still trying to save people. This just shows like the true nature of Kiritsu. Even with his actions, this is how you see the true Kiritsu. Oh shit, the timer is over. So what's the timer about? Wait, this is the start. Or is... no, it's... I don't know... Let's see a bit more. Now this should be after. I I don't know. Depends on. Hmm. Mm. So they know. It's like a replacement for their other grandchild. At this point, he's not really using any more spells to make them believe that he is the original grandson. Oh, that's a console? <laughs> he never played it. Oh, the shirt.
Um, okay. Are you speaking English? All right then. And this with rain. This guy. And Rin doesn't even know. Oh, just so sad. Wait, what? Hmm. Wait, what? She didn't die. What the fuck? How is she still alive? Oh man, she lost her memories, at least the mo most recent ones. Oh, she doesn't like him. Does she blame him for her father's loss? I don't think she knows he killed him, but he blames him for what happened. Oh no, it's the dagger he used to kill. To kill Tokiyomi, right? Holy shit, and you killed him with that. If only you knew, little child. I wonder if she'll ever, like, know that. Oh, it's Saber. We saw this moment in the opening. This is probably my favorite soundtrack of the anime. Oh, um, yeah. Guinevere was the king's wife, right? Mm. Oh, so that's why. She was too kind. Oh, yes, you were.
So he lived. Oh, so they didn't allow him to return. They only accepted him because of the Grail. That's a kid he saved, right? Yeah, Shiro. Oh, five years later. Oh, it's going to be like the next one. Oh my God, it's going. It's going to be like Natalia and Kiritsugu. Uh, when it's over, it ends with the opening as well, or at least a song. Man, that was like a bit confusing, but it it, it was still. I think I understood some things, but yeah, there's many questions right now that will probably be answered in the next series, I guess. So that was the timer, uh, like the countdown to the end of the war, I'm guessing. Wait, this song is different. Is this like the full version? Or the continuation of the opening? This opening is awesome. And that, that was like a lot of stuff happening. So the war ended, but I need to know how Archer got his wish in the end. And Kira is alive because Archer stayed alive, like he incarnated in that world. I don't get how that worked. Kiritsu lived, which is good, but I mean, the guy went through so much. And I, I remember hating him from what he did to Lancer, and now I have like a lot of compassion for him. Holy shit. I think that in, in, in the moment that he saved that kid, you saw the true self of Kiritsugu. Like he, he just wanted to save as many people as possible. But he knew that he had to sacrifice some in the way. So that's it. That was the end. Yeah, there's no more. 
that was really something like i love this anime for real it i know there there's still more so i'm not too worried about not understanding like a lot about the ending but the war is over at least it's apparently destroyed that city uh along with it so i'm glad that Kiritsu at least lived and I don't know what was happening with Saber, like, I don't know what happens with them after the, the war ends. I mean, the war happens a every 60 years and I don't think they managed to destroy the Grail. I, I'm not sure. So I'm guessing there could still happen like another war in 60 years, but like Kiritsugu wouldn't be there anymore and Shiro w would be like too old at that point I think um, I don't know I really don't know like what's going to happen in the Unlimited Blade Works I don't know if if Saber and the others are going to be there like I don't know but if I had to pick like a favorite character uh, like so far, I don't know it's it's so hard to pick, but I really enjoyed Saber and like her way of thinking. She was always so kind, like to everyone. She was a real noble knight, and I loved. I always loved to see her with Lancer. Like the interaction between those two, it was really enjoyable to watch but it came to an end because of like what happened in a certain episode and we also have like Ryder and Waver it's in my opinion the best master and servant relationship in the in Fate Zero like it's my opinion and I don't know how many people agree with me, but I loved everything about those two, like the interaction between them in all of the episodes were like so much fun to watch and it teaches it, like it teaches us a lesson about about some things as well like I, I like one of my favorite moments was when Ryder was telling um Waver that no matter how small they are. They can they can accomplish big things and that was really deep and I love that moment. And you can see that Waver is totally different now. He believes in himself more than ever. And he's apparently going to travel somewhere to probably learn more about some things. I don't know what, but I don't know if he's going to appear in the Unlimited Blade Works, but we'll see, I guess. But yeah, that basically happened. The war is over, but I mean, no one really won anything. I mean, maybe Kire came up like ahead in that in that war. Like he lived and he found his his answers to like his true feelings and such. And now he's like taking taking care of Rin. But I also don't understand how Hawaii is still alive because Karia killed her. So. Unless Kyrie managed to like revive her, I have no idea what happened. But I mean, I don't know why Ahoy is alive, but I don't I don't even know why Kiri is alive to start with. And I also don't know if if Gilgamesh is in that world as a normal human now. Because that's what it what it looked like when he was like naked after all of that destruction. So yeah, there was like a lot to understand about this and it was the first time I watched this. So it's going to be, it's going to take time to understand everything, but if you guys want to explain me things that I should understand by the end of this anime, uh, I would gladly accept them. As long as it doesn't spoil anything that I shouldn't know by now. I know there's a lot of questions, but 
uh, they might be answered in Unlimited Blade Works, so I want to discover them by myself. And that's basically it. Uh, I love this anime. Fate Zero is amazing. Uh, one of my favorite things about it was the soundtrack. Like, the music is awesome. Uh, this opening is probably one of my favorites of all animes. I really love the, the way they did it. And we also saw the continuation of the opening, I think, at the end of this episode. It was, like, different. And... Like, all of the, the soundtrack is amazing. The Like, the... The sad song that happens sometimes with the violins, I think. That one is really beautiful. Um, and yeah, the animation, I mean, I, I've said it countless times, the animation is on point. Everything is really well done, like all the effects. I still remember that the episode when Saber uses Excalibur for the first time. The effect of all of the particles, uh, like coming to her sword and then when she uses it there's like water bubbles around her with the reflection of her face like i noticed that when i was like doing the thumbnail i was going frame by frame on that moment because i, I really wanted to make a thumbnail on that of that moment in that episode and it made me see how perfect the animation is when you go frame by frame Man, it's insane how they did that. So that was probably one of my favorite scenes of this anime, when she used Excalibur for the first time. That was really beautiful. So yeah, that was basically it. We just finished this one and I can't wait to dive into the next one, the Unlimited Blade Works next week. I'm going to start it on Monday. So I hope you guys are excited to it. Uh, for it because I surely am and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this whole anime uh, it was I'm really glad I finally started watching this because it took me a long a long time because I, I had to figure out like the right way to do it because there are so many fate series to watch and I never knew like where to start so I had some cool people tell me like the best way to do it and this is what we came up with so Fate Zero first and Unlimited Blade Works and then I'll watch the Evans Fields movies so I'm actually glad I only started watching Fate now because I just started doing my reaction videos recently, like two months ago. So yeah, it was also a good thing. So I I was able to do my reactions to this anime. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my, my reaction to this episode and the other ones. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next videos and in my Unlimited Blade Works reactions, I hope. So take care.